Okay, hi. So today we're going, Joshua and I are gonna make some guacamole real quick and show you a few Pampered Chef products that you can use to make your guacamole. We have the mix and chop, we have a mixing bowl, that's the bowl that comes with the kids baking set. Um, really nice big bowl with a handle, so I like that. We use it even though no kids. And our favorite, the manual food processor, cutting that and two Pampered Chef knives. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the onion going. So you like to do this, right? Yeah, have we okay. shared this all? Yeah, so this is the manual food processor. Um, the blade is inside. So just a quick cleaning of the onion. Joshua hates the onion part, although he likes the manual food processor. Um, you just kind of peel off the outer part of the onion to get the skin off and stuff because you don't want that in your guacamole right yeah and then you don't have to cut the onion because this is going to dice it but you want it to fit in so you just kind of rough cut it in fourths if it's a very big onion you can do it that way you put the onion in the bowl so you just put it in the bowl of the manual food processor and then nice big chunks. You put the lid on. You got a little nub here that has to line up in the hole of the blade. So you do that. Sorry. And then you yes, you, you unlock can. this by flipping this. Yes. And then to actually do it, you put normally, it yeah. I don't know if I put this to the table. Okay, I'll hold it like this so, so you can show. You do this and it moves the blade inside. So go ahead. So and the it. faster you do it, the quicker and then you just sometimes it is the blade in place the blade sometimes falls out of place there we go. and you just do that a few times the faster you go the faster the blade spins and in less than a minute you're gonna have completely diced red onion for guacamole give it a little shake sometimes if there's big pieces No tears, any any fumes bugging your eyes? Let me see. I did that too. That was one bit piece. Yeah, because the skin was. And then you right. have diced onion. So we put that aside. And now we're going to get the avocado going. So we have some avocados over here that we got today at the store. One of these away. You can just take this over and like dump it into the trash. So you just gonna cut your avocados. I use the tomato knife, but you can use this one too that I used on the tomato and the um, onion. But I'm using the tomato knife, and you just kind of cut it in half. Take out the pit. Nice, perfect job. You wanna grab a spoon and you can dump the avocado halves into there. And it works really well on getting the pit out, usually. What we're gonna do Three avocados, I think, should be good. These really nice and ripe, the pit just fell right out. <laughs> okay, so he's just dumping the avocado halves into the bowl. You can always do the project where you save the pits and grow plants. So we're not doing that today. We got some more here. right in then comes the fun part with the masher so you can use the this is the mix and chop works really good we tried this the other day and it worked really really well on that um, and you kind of if you have your cooking with kids there's a handle to hold on you have two more here kiddo and then you can just kind of it's fun for them they can kind of go at it with the mix and chop which Joshua is going to do in a moment 
And I'm gonna, while he's doing that, I'm gonna chop up some tomatoes using the tomato knife. And the good thing about this is the serrated edges keep the tomato from sliding away. So we like sweeter tomatoes, but any kind of tomato you like will work. Um, you can even use canned diced tomatoes if there's no fresh ones. But I'm just gonna give these a rough chop and the, the knife goes right through, makes nice little pieces. They don't go sliding away. All right, now we're ready to start. Yep, so you just kind of stab at that and so like you, uh, uh, give it a good, get that nice and held onto the handle so the bowl doesn't go flying and you just give that a nice chop up. Bowl holds a lot. You push down and you sort of slide it like that, yep. spin it, give it a little bit of a half spin. And then you keep doing that long enough. And these tomatoes slice up really nicely. And I'm just doing a rough chop on them. If you like your tomatoes smaller, you can definitely do them smaller. The knife will definitely do a good job of that. We are not big fans of um, jalapenos because we don't like spicy, but if you have jalapenos, you can chop those up and add them in. Is that a piece of the stem? Yeah. That's okay. How's that coming out? Oh, look at that, okay. And it goes through really nicely. Um, I like this better than the potato masher or fork. I think it gets a good mash on. And the, the longer you do it, the smoother your guacamole will be. Um, if some people like it really chunky, some people don't. So the smoother you want it, the so longer. So we're right about that right now? Yeah, I think a little bit more. And this is gonna go with our rice bowls that we're making for dinner tonight. So we have chopped tomato, diced onion. We're gonna put some fresh minced garlic. I cheated and I have jarred minced garlic in my fridge. We're gonna put some cumin, some chili powder, some salt and pepper. All right, what do you think? You want it a little smoother? Just a little bit. And I'm gonna get the spices. So we're gonna use a little bit, of half a teaspoon each of chili powder, of cumin, a little bit of white pepper, a little bit of salt. Half a teaspoon of each. How's that? Good. Let me give that a try, see how, yeah. That's it. It's not a lot, it's only, you know, it's three kind of smallish. You can increase this as you like. I think that's pretty let's, good. Let's shove it off. Okay. We're looking at. Yeah. So now we're going to put the tomato in. Throw a couple handfuls of tomato in there. We're not going to use all of this onion. We did a whole onion, but we're, we don't need all of it. But some of it's going to be for tomorrow. We're making a cold pasta salad. So we're just going to throw a few very clean hands. Handfuls of diced onion in there. Um, Want to get a half a teaspoon, Josh? Just knock all that off the blade. Half a teaspoon? Yeah. Um, Want to grab one of our Pamper Chef, the teaks, the spoon over there? Best. Yeah. Is that yeah, that one will do. That's Is it paper stuff? Yes, I think so. Yes. All right, here we believe we have another pampered chef product. I was actually talking about the wooden one, but that's okay. So I'm going to put not quite a full half a teaspoon of chili powder. I didn't have any um, red pepper. Yeah, that, that's definitely. This is definitely a pampered chef product. The teak spoon. Say that one more time. It's teak, like teak, teak. wood. Teat wood spoon. Um, so that's the chili powder, half a teaspoon. Start mixing that nice and well. Wipe that off a little so we don't mix our spices. <laughs> and this is cumin, half a teaspoon of cumin. And a little bit of, not quite a full half a teaspoon, but like a, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of, of uh, white pepper. 
We can use black pepper. We just happen to have white pepper. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. Wipe that off. And salt. And then, then we're going, oh, you know what we forgot to add? What we forgot to add? Forgot to add the lime juice. Oh, that's so right. So we're just going to add a little bit of lime juice to keep it Is from browning. Chef no, I don't have the juicer yet. It's on its way. Yeah. Hey, but I, Chef does have a juicer. Yes. I forgot, after you cut up the, um, the avocado, you're supposed to put a little bit of lime juice on it to keep it from browning, but works out fine. And it looks like now we have guacamole. So you can show our finished product. That is our guacamole. And the Pampered Chef products we used were the manual food processor. We used a couple of knives, a cutting board, the mix and chop, the kids mixing bowl, and a mixing spoon, which is from the, um, the it's a teak spoon. And that's, all, all of this is, most all of this is Pampered Chef. Yes, and this is going to be our dinner tonight, which is excellent. All right, thank you. And we're still figuring out the kinks in our video making because we need a new tripod. So hopefully you were able to see most of that. Thank you.